Hello everybody, I am Tadashi Mori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami angel. It's my own design, it's the origami angel 3.0 and I hope you enjoy it, so let's start. So to teach the origami I will use here a blue paper just to make it easier to see the folds but it's better for you to use a white paper. So start by folding the paper in half, okay like this. This paper here is a washi paper, okay, and unfold, okay. Now you're going to make a fold from this point here up to this point here. I'm using here a washi paper, but it's better for you to choose a thinner paper like a taiyunryu or a tissue foil. And as I said, white on both sides. Okay, unfold the paper. Now you're going to fold along the diagonal like this. These folds here are to find one third of the paper. So, unfold the paper and the model should look like this. So now you're going to fold here this side of the paper, making the side of the paper go up to this point here. This point is exactly one third of the paper. Okay, now unfold and you're going to fold the other side up to this line here. Okay. Now unfold the paper again. And the model is going to look like this. So now you're going to make the first fold again and you're going to fold this part here in half, this front layer in half, okay, like this. Okay, the model should look like this. Now, make here the second fold and fold this layer in half again. So we are basically making here a zigzag. Okay, so now you're going to fold the last layer in half again. Okay, and the model should look like this. Okay, now hold the paper in this direction here. And you're going to make a fold like this, okay, making this side of the paper go up to the middle line. So fold carefully, try to make all the layers be folded precisely and do the same thing here on the other side. Okay, now unfold both sides like this and you're going to open the model like this and fold everything in half in this direction. Okay, now you're going to open here this last layer. Okay, this last line here, you're going to fold along this last line and open the side. Like this. Okay. So, the model should look like this. 
Now you're going to fold here, just to mark here the fold on the other side. Okay, and now you're going to open here the second part. So basically you're going to make here a mountain fold along this and this line, and you're going to make a fold along the middle line opening here, spreading the front and the back layer. So you're going to press here the top part. Okay. You're going to press here the top part and the model should look like this. Okay. Now, you're going to do the same thing here. So just open the middle like this. And okay, the model is going to look like this. Now do the same thing on the last layer. So just open here the last the last layer. Okay. So the model should look like this. Right? And now we are going to unfold everything so fold strongly and then unfold everything like this and you're going to continue here this line here okay so we have this line you're going to continue the lines up to the end only on the top part okay so just continue the line try to fold precisely okay And do the same thing here on the next line. Unfold and do the same thing on the other direction. So just like this. And fold here the last line. Okay, so now the origami should look like this. And be prepared because we are going to fold and unfold the origami several times, okay? So at this point, you're going to fold here, making this line go up to this two points here. So the fold is going to look like this, but at this point, you're going to fold only from this line here up to this line here it's okay if you pass this point but it's better if you fold only about this much here okay so now we are going to make a fold from this point up to this point here so fold here only between these two points and unfold the paper. So the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now we are going to remake the folds that we unfolded. So basically you're just going to open here each layer the same way as we did before. Well, this time is going to be easier Okay, because the folds are already here and to the right direction. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to hold here the layers like this, open in the middle. Okay, so now you're going to make a fold here, a valley fold along 
this line here. And at the same time, you're going to make here a mountain fold along this and this line. And you're going to squash here the sides of the paper, the sides of this front layer. It's not going to be difficult to make this, this step here because we already made the folds before. Okay. So the model is going to look like this. Now you're going to open here this front layer. Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now you're going to hold here all these layers, okay? All these layers here and fold the side up to the middle line. Okay, like this. You can also fold each of these layers one by one, just to make it more precise, but also it's okay if you fold everything at the same time. So, I'm going to fold the inner layer first, okay? Just like this. But basically, you can just do something like this. Fold here, and then fold the side of the paper up to this line, and divide the other line into like this. So, it's the same thing, okay? But I prefer to open and fold inside first, just to make it more precise. Now, do the same thing here on the other side. and fold here, like this, and fold each line in half one more time. Okay, and the model should look like this. Okay, so now you're going to hold the model, you're going to hold, hold the layers like this, Okay, and each of these layers here, on the other side, you're going to divide in four parts. So, fold here in half, and fold each line in half one more time. Okay, and the model should look like this. Now, turn one layer and do the same thing here on the next layer. So, fold in half and fold each line in half one more time. All right, and just keep doing this. And after that, we are going to unfold everything one more time. So, try to make each fold here strongly, and it's going to be easier for you to refold everything later, okay? So that's it. I divided all the layers in four parts. So now you're going to unfold everything. Okay. And the model is going to look like this. And you're going to make a fold here on the third line. Okay, so this line here you're going to continue the fold. So, on the th third line, you're going to fold, and fold strongly, okay? Because it's going to be easier for you later. Okay, so, let me zoom in here a little bit. So, make here the fold on the third line. Okay, like this. Now, you're going to fold here along the second line, counting from the last line. 
so just like this. Now you're going to make here a valley fold along the next line, so along this line here, you're going to make here a valley fold. Again, try to be really precise on every fold, so it's going to be easier later. Okay, so after you make all these folds, you're going to make a fold along this line here. So you already have this line, okay? You're just going to fold the top part along this line. So, now you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So just continue the line and fold it really strongly to mark the lines really well. Okay, and in the middle, as you can see, you are going to have two lines here. Okay. And unfold everything. And the model is going to look like this. So I marked the lines here just to make it easier for you to see the lines. And it should look like this. Okay. And now we are going to refold everything that we unfolded. So let me show you again how to do it. So fold here opening each of these layers, okay? Well, as, as I said before, this should be easier now because the folds are all marked already to the right direction. So, just keep opening here each of these layers. Okay, now you're going to hold the paper here in the middle, okay, open here like this, make the valley fold in the middle, squashing the sides. Okay, and open here this front layer. So we had exactly this. Okay, so now you're going to hold, hold the model in this position here. Okay, so like this, spread the layers like this. And we are going to make here a cream fold. Okay, so it's going to be something like this. Make here a mountain fold along this line, okay, this first line. Then you're going to make a valley fold along the next line and a mountain fold on this line. So basically we're just doing here a zigzag, okay, in all these layers. So do the same thing here. So open the model a little bit. Okay. And you're going to make here again a mountain fold along this first line here. Okay. Now a valley fold along the next line. here a mountain fold along this last line. Okay, so the model should look like this. So carefully you're going to make a zigzag and it's going to look like this. So do the same thing here. 
on the next two layers. And the model should look like this. Okay, so turn the model over. And on the other side here, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but essentially it's the same thing that you're, you're doing, just making the zigzags. So open here this layer like this, and you're going to make here a mountain fold and reverse along this line here, okay? A line that goes to this direction. So, carefully make here a mountain fold, okay, also open here the back part a little bit, okay, and the model is going to look like this. Now make here a valley fold along the next line. So, this part it's a little bit more difficult than the, the last part, but well, it's, it's not really that difficult. It's essentially the same thing. So just keep doing the zigzag, okay? And make here a mountain fold along the next line. And the model is going to look like this. Right? So, now do the same thing here on the other side. So let me show again. Just open here the model and make this zigzag. Make here the mountain fold on the first line, the valley fold along the next line. I know it's the same things, but I'm showing again just keep track, just for you to keep track on what part I'm making right now. Okay. So, that's it. Now just press here the sides Okay, and the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now we are going to make a zigzag also in this flap here and this flap here. This part is going to be even more difficult, okay, even harder because, well, it's in the middle of the paper, okay, so it's harder to hold but you're going to just open here this flap like this and you can see here several squares, right? And you're going to make here a mountain fold along this square. Okay, so carefully just open here the model and keep folding each square. So, as you can see, I just made here a mountain fold along the first square. Okay. Now, you're going to make here the valley fold along the next square. Just like this. And you're going to press here the middle square to make the mountain fold along the last square. 
and the model is going to look like this. Okay, so as you can see here, all the squares folded in zigzag. Okay, so now do the same thing here on the other side. So again, just carefully open the model. And you're going to fold each square of this flap. So, after you finish the zigzag on this flap here, the model should look like this. Okay, so now you're going to hold here the model in this position here, folding along the middle layer, okay? And fold this flap here upward like this. And this flap on the side, you're going to fold downward. Okay, also this flap here, fold downward. Okay, and you're going to fold everything in the middle like this again. Okay, just open the middle layer like this. Now fold here, this flap downward. Okay. So for the next step, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And the model should look like this, right? So at this point here, you're going to you're going to make here a valley fold along this line here. And when you make this valley fold, you're going to spread here this top layer. Okay. Okay, let me show here. So you're going to spread here this top square. Okay, so the model should look like this. Okay, so the next step is going to be a little bit hard to make. And it's going to be like this. Pull here, this front layer, a little bit. Okay. And at this part, we just made a, a valley fold. But now we are going to make a mountain fold along this line. Okay. So... Just pinch here a little bit and you're going to pull here these two sides but at the same time you're going to press this part here. So basically you're going to spread like this and press the middle. Okay. So it should look like this. Right? So do the same thing here. Spread these two parts. Okay. And you're going to make here a mountain fold along these two lines. Okay. So basically, you're just going to spread here the layers. Okay. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, so now we are going to make some details here. And well, this part is going to be a little bit difficult. So open here, this layer, pull this layer a little bit like this. And we are going to fold this inner layer here, okay? So, hold the model like this, and you're going to fold 
here. The inner layer up to this point here. Okay, so we are fold we are folding this layer in half and the end here you're going to spread the layer like this. Okay? Now unfold and you're going to inside reverse or better saying you're going to sync fold along this line. So this part, I mean, this paper here is a little bit too small, so it's getting a little bit hard to make these details. But with a bigger paper, should be easier. So the model is going to look like this. Okay, so by now the model should look like this. Now we are going to make a fold, well first pull here this front layer and we are going to fold the inner layer, this layer here. And you're going to make a fold like this. You have to fold making the top part of this inner layer go up to the middle line. I don't know if you can see here, these details are getting way too small, so it's hard to see, but it's something like this, okay? Now, unfold, and you're going to spread here these two layers along the line we just made. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay. And now you're going to just spread it and squash the model. Okay. So it's going to be like this. Now fold this flap here upward, fold this layer like this and you're going to open the top part of the layer and fold back to the right. Okay, now fold making this line here go up to the middle line. So it's going to be like this and fold this layer downward. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So you're going to open here. I mean, fold this flap upward first. You're going to pull this layer. Upward like this, fold this inner layer up to the middle line like this, spread the bottom part, unfold, now make a sink fold here. Okay, so the model is going to look like this. Now pull here this front layer, fold this inner layer up to the middle line. Okay. Now unfold spread these layers and squash the model right okay now 
open the top part of this front layer and fold top part like this. Okay, now fold this layer downward and that's it. Now fold a small tip backward like this. Okay, Let's see here. And you're going to fold this layer here backward. This part is going to be the head, so I'm just narrowing here, okay? The side of the face. And do the same thing here on the other side. And the face is going to be a little bit thinner. Okay, so now you're going to fold the top part downward like this, okay? Now, open a little bit and you're going to spread here. Spread here the sides of the head to make a small gap between the front and the back side of the head. Okay, just like this. Now you're going to make a fold like this on the side of the head, just to make the, the hair points forward, okay? And fold the side like this, okay? So let me show again. You're going to fold the side of the head and fold Okay, a small flap downward. Okay, this paper is not holding the shape really well at this part. So I would have to work a little bit more. But basically it's going to be something like this. It's not, it's not really hard to make it. Okay. Okay, so now fold here this, this layer inside like this and okay and now we are going to make here the chest so just pinch here the side of the paper making a small V fold V shaped fold on the side okay so just like this now do the same thing here on the other side. So it's a really small V-shaped fold. And the model is going to look like this. Okay. So now fold here this to big layers upward like this and we are going to make the wings so open here the back part of the layer a little bit and you're going to pull here the inner layer right and the fold here you're going to you're going to pull here this layer to make the fold look like this. Okay. So do the same thing on the next, the next layer. Okay. So carefully you're going to pull the wing and carefully pulling here the wing okay to make it look like this okay so now you're going to make here a mountain fold well there's no reference for this fold but should be about this much okay and make here a valley fold 
close to the first fold. So, make another one. Okay. A valley fold. Now, make a third one in this place here. Okay, a mountain fold and a valley fold. And as you can see, it's all going to the same point here. So these three lines going to the, the same point. Now the next one is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, I made one parallel to the, to the other one, to the last one, but it's not going to the same point. And do it one more time. Okay. Now, now we're going to make here, let me zoom in, you're going to make, you're going to press here, this part of the layer, to inside, okay, and you're going to fold this tip, like this, so, you're going to do the same thing on every layer here, So just keep doing this, press here, and fold this tip, okay. And the last one, okay. The wing is going to look like this. Now you're going to fold here, making a curve about this much here and when you make this fold okay, the overcome is going to look like this well this one here the detail is a little bit bad because the paper was too small okay but well it should look something like this okay now you're going to fold the wing in this direction here. So the wing is going to look like this. Ah, I forgot to fold here, a small tip here. Okay, and that's it. Well, these black lines here are making the wings look ugly, but it has a nice effect. So do the same thing here. Now. The arm, it's going to be something like this. Open here in the middle layer, okay? And reverse fold like this. This paper is too thick, so it's it's going to be a little bit hard to make this, this part. But basically you just have to fold here the arm in half, okay? And fold the tip. Well, you can also make here a small mountain and valley fold just to make the hand. I didn't work on the details too much, but it's it's something like this. But this paper really didn't help because it's too thick. Well, anyway, now let's make the dress. So, the dress is going to be like this. Let me just zoom out here a little bit first okay so turn the model over and well you're going to fold here the dress in half so you're going to fold everything to one direction I'm going to fold here everything to the right okay now you're going to fold everything to one side and Press here really well to hold the shape. And you're going to spread here the layers one by one. So you're going to spread here the layers on the front like this. So pull the layer and squash the model. So Pull one more layer and press the model just to make it hold the shape. 
I know it's not aligned but you can adjust it later okay so the model is going to look like this now the last layer and that's it now turn the model over and do the same thing here on the back part of the dress Okay, so one by one, keep pulling. The layers. Okay. So you have to adjust here. You have to align the body and the dress. And basically that's it. Now let me show you here the details made with a bigger paper. I know it looks different, but well, it's it's the same origami, but I made using a bigger paper and a thinner paper, and that makes it easier to fold. Okay. So the details on the back, it's going to look like this. The dress is a little bit messed up, but well, it's something like this. The front, the front part of the dress is, is okay. And the hands are way better with this paper. Because as you can see here, this paper was way smaller, making it way harder to make the details. And also it was thicker because I painted in blue and, and the acrylic paint makes it a little bit thicker. But that's it, the angel is done. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you, bye bye.